One on five, three to be. You know who it is, DJ Scream. I got a special guest that just pulled up on me. We were supposed to do an interview for the past 30 years. She is finally <laughs> here. Erica Pinkett, welcome to Hood Rich Radio 1053 The Beat. So much for having me. What took you so long to pull up on me? Man, you know, guys, timing is perfect. There you go. I like that answer. So, yeah. You know, it's the perfect time to do it. There it is. <laughs> so I need y'all to know Erica Pinkett. Uh, she's, in, she's in a new movie called. Secret Society. Secret Society is top 10 on Amazon, doing a thing right now. She's also in the Tupac movie. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the role you played in the Tupac <laughs> movie. Well, yeah, I uh, portrayed a young lady. Uh, my character name was Brianna, but uh, the young lady I portrayed was Ayanna Jackson. And Ayanna Jackson was the lady who in the Tupac story who accused Tupac. So it is rape. it is common knowledge that it was false. Yes. Okay. Um, and so she falsely accused him of rape. He obviously was, um, you know, served a little time and mm -hmm. was released thereafter. Um, but, you know, growing up, I, oh, I, I, that, that, I we, love we, Pac. We see that on your social media. So how, how is love it Pac. loving Pac, but having to go play a role like destroying Pac, at Man, least temporarily? That was the hardest part about that was separating my you know, myself, Erica, from Brianna. Mm -hmm. um, as an actress or any actor knows, we have a job, a responsibility to telling the most authentic story mm -hmm. that we can tell. And so I had to separate my true feelings mm -hmm. and not judge the character, but really be in that moment. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it was a beautiful experience, you know, working with Benny Boom, LT mm -hmm. Hutton, uh, Demetrius um, Ship Jr. That was just Cat Graham. Mm. Oh my God, it was just an amazing experience. So um, even though that role was a smaller role, it definitely opened up other doors. And so I'm mm. really grateful for that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And that led you to some other acting roles, which led to now the Secret Society movie, <laughs> which is making a lot of noise. Now tell uh, us, t tell us a little bit about the first time you read this script and, and why you decided to be a part of this film. Sure. Um, I'm a lover of amazing stories. Mm -hmm. So um, I follow storytellers in all genres of film and, and books. Um, and this one story came across my email and I was just in love with the character Tina um, and Celeste and how they held each other down, their bond, their friendship. Mm -hmm. I think every man, woman and child and from all backgrounds just pray to have a bond like this. Mm -hmm. So falling in love with their bond, I kept reading the script and boy, okay, there was a jaw dropping right. secret that was revealed. And I said, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But uh, once I auditioned and I, I sent in my tape, you know, they just they knew I was Tina. Mm. You know, I was able to bring her to life. Um, my girl Raina Love kills the role of Celeste. You guys mm. kills it. This is her first film. And, you know, she'd been studying for years, but given the, the opportunity to play Celeste, oh my God, she kills it. Mm. Vivica Fox, incredible legend she is, and comes I was, in and kills it as well. And I was gonna say that a lot of people on social media says this film gives them set it off vibes. <laughs> is this accurate? All right, I'll take that, you know, I'll take that. You know, we all know set it off is a classic. Mm -hmm. Um, got my girl Jada Pinkett in there. So, you know, I'll, I'll take mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I definitely, um, the storyline, let me just give you guys a brief overview, is about these two women who, they're young women, who are living this jet-setter, luxurious lifestyle funded by all these rich men. Mm -hmm. um, Celeste is kind of tired of, you know, being a gold digger, and she's kind of tired of, like, nickel and diamond different guys to get over and she's ready to just settle down and find mm -hmm. real love mm -hmm. um <laughs> tina on the other hand because of her traumatic past has kind of wrote love off as something that she'll never be ever to ever experience mm -hmm. and she's always the one that's like no celeste there's no love for girls like us like mm -hmm. let's just get this money um however as the story unfolds the audience will find out that there's a jaw-dropping secret that's revealed. And mm. once revealed, it proves fatal for someone in the end. Mm. Um, but just experience going through this journey, Tina finally does fall in love. And she finally does realize that love is a possibility. Mm. And so in this movie, you'll experience every single emotion. Um, you'll laugh. You'll cry. You'll be angry. Um, you'll... <laughs> you'll You'll feel the love and the joy that Tina and Celeste both get to experience as mm -hmm. they do eventually find love in this film. So 
Mm. It's a great cast. Uh, Jeremy Meeks is also a part of it. Trey Cheney, you guys might know him from uh, Saints and Sinners and The Wire. Mm. Um, again, Vivica Fox. Um, Yasha Coleman, she's the writer and executive producer, her and her husband, Rich Coleman. And it was also directed by Jamal Hill. So I'm just grateful um, that Jamal and Miyasha and Rich chose me to bring Tina to life. And mm -hmm. people seem to be loving, people seem to be loving the movie. So I'm excited mm -hmm. to see, you know, um, what it does. You're always on your professional stuff. <laughs> Handling your business and everything. But let's take a moment to unplug from the professionalism <laughs> a little bit and get to know Erica Pinkett. Sure. All right, Erica Pinkett is a mother. Your daughter yes. is here. Shouts to your daughter Shout in the building. Shout out to Jada Bella. That's Jada first. actually portrays the younger version of Tina in this film. Nice. Um, they had her audition. See, I like that type of hustle yeah. when you got two checks coming yeah. from one situation. You know I what? like it. It's, it's, she's just a natural. She raps. She dances. Mm. She can act. She was actually in Napoli Ever After with Sonali in a few years back as okay. well. Um, but she was an extra that, you know, so this was her first speaking role and she kills it. So congratulations, okay. Let's baby. Let's give it <laughs> that deserves an applaud. That deserves an applaud. So so, so when, when it's not motherhood, when it's not acting, what are you doing? What do you do to let oh, your hair down man. per se? What you like I to do? I love um, working out. Um, it's not so much of a physical goal that I'm trying to obtain. It's really like just a discipline. And talk to me about discipline. that because... I want to love working out. I hate it, but I want to love it. I don't. I, I do work out, but I can't yeah. say I love. There's people like I love working out. I work out three times a day. Like no. Yeah, it's it's for me. It's a discipline. It's a way to release a lot of our day to day stress. Mm -hmm. You know, the pandemic has been stressful for all of us. Agreed. So I had to find an outlet um, to release a lot of energy, and so that's my outlet. I actually work out with uh, you know my boy Jody, the super trainer. So. Mm -hmm. He, you know, has been training me physically and, and mentally as well. Um, mm -hmm. And his wife is an amazing uh, gold medalist, Olympian, uh, Gwendolyn Torrance. So just getting that training from them physically has mm -hmm. allowed me to prepare mentally for these roles and um, other things that I have coming up as well. Mm -hmm. so. All right. So chicken or fish? Fish. Okay. <laughs> uh, strip club or regular club? <laughs> okay, time. Regular club. <laughs> regular club. You can say strip club if you want to. You know, Atlanta, the strip clubs do feel like strip regular clubs. Strip clubs do feel like regular so, club. Yeah. yeah. Phipps or Lennox? Phipps. Okay. And if 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 um you're single. Okay, no. Just say no. Why are people on a lot of screen? Just um, say no. I'm yeah. not. It's complicated. It may be. It may it's be complicated. complicated. <laughs> it Entangled. May be, it may be complicated. So I'm just saying, if 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 you were single, let's imagine that you are. I'm dating someone. You're right. dating someone. All right. Are you open and free to talk about even that person you're dating or whoever? What's the formula to catch Erica Pinkett bag Erica, Erica Pinkett like what, um, are you, what are you into I am a I love good conversation I mm -hmm. love intelligence um, you know if I can fall in love with you with my eyes closed it's pretty much like a spiritual connection I love ambitious people mm -hmm. um, and so ambitious God fearing and you know you work hard you have a hard work ethic and you know you gotta be healthy you know overall you just gotta be about you know what I one thing I've learned in life is that a lot of us have experienced things in relationships that cause for us to break up or whatever. Um, but when you find someone that's always trying to better themselves, you can pretty much get through anything. Mm -hmm. um, if you're dating someone who's not trying to elevate, um, you're probably going to have a lot of toxic mm -hmm. situations. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like I said, none of us are perfect, but finding someone that's in a battle with being better than their last self is someone that you can actually grow with. Mm -hmm. So that's what I look for. Okay. <laughs> right. Fair enough. Now I, 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 I prepared, prepared you for this direct messages exposed. Oh my God. <laughs> now we know because you have success as an actress and so many other things that is going down in your DM. So what we want to know is that one time that something just crazy happened to your DMs that just blew your mind. Give us that one memorable DM that you'll never forget. Unfortunately, I was traumatized about three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is picture, pictures coming. I this already know about some pictures. This was prior to, you know when you have to like tap on content to mm -hmm. see if it's like something you want to see? Mm -hmm. This was when it was just like... It's there. Yeah, it's yeah. there. So I clicked on this video 
And this young man, this young black king, <laughs> was <laughs> in a video having fun with himself and thought that I wanted to see that. So that was the most traumatizing DM I've ever received. Uh, hopefully I don't want to see another one of those. And needless, needless, needless to say, you didn't reply. Uh, block. Okay. <laughs> block. I, I was 10 seconds from calling the Instagram police, okay? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. But That's yeah, crazy. Um, but honestly, to be real, a lot lately, we've been getting a lot of DMs from all over the world. Like, mm. this movie has been... I'm talking about Albania, South Africa, UK, um, Trinidad, South America, all over America. Like, those kind of DMs, I'm, I'm all for those kind of DMs. So just telling us that this movie really inspired them. Mm -hmm. They fell in love with the characters. Um, so shout out to Miyasha Komen for making such an amazing film. Most definitely. What's next for Erica Pinkett? Um, well, I have a few things on the table. Um, we, you guys may be uh, learning a little more about my personal life. Um, so That's a maybe tease. a show, what, what, maybe, maybe a show a coming up. Maybe or a, a show. show. Um, a show. Speaking of book, I am, I am trying to finish something that I started a few years ago. Um, which includes a film and a script. Mm. I mean, a book and a script. Um, also auditioning still. Um, and we will be going into production for Secret Society Part 2 very, oh, wow. very wow. soon. So okay. if you guys watch the film, you know that there's a very tragic ending, but we will be back. But that tragic to... ending did not get rid of you. That Well, <laughs> you, have to wait, we you have to watch and see. But the, the ending definitely is tragic um but we we will be back so y'all have to stay tuned for secret society too um we are number 10 on the overall amazon list nice um that's huge because you know most of these other projects are you know really popular um backed by these huge studios so just mm -hmm. for miasha coleman to make that kind of noise mm -hmm. um is incredible and it just speaks to all of you amazing people out there who love good stories mm -hmm. and are willing to give new um filmmakers um a chance so actually jamal hill is not new <laughs> he is an amazing director um and he does an amazing job with this film if you guys watch you the cinematography the acting the locations the wardrobe you know miyasha wanted to give it like a black sex in the city feel and she definitely executed that well mm -hmm. um and shout out to all the female designers that were part of the film as well so very grateful yeah, it is <laughs> big shouts out to erica pinkett finally Thank made you. it to hood rich yes. radio <laughs> make sure you follow her on her instagram and check yes. out that secret society movie sure. you know what it is 105.3 the beat don't change that station thank you